Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I want to show you how you could password protect an Excel spreadsheet. Why would you want to do that? Well, maybe you have a spreadsheet that has sensitive information, maybe you have financial data, uh, and you don't want other people to access it. We'll put a password on it and that'll prevent other people from entering unless they know the password. Uh, and as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. All right, enough talk, let's jump into it. Here I am on my PC and I have the latest version of Excel that comes with Office uh, 365. If you have a recent version like 2019, 2016, 2013 or any version before, the password protection, uh, protection capability has been there for a while so you should be able to do this but I can't guarantee anything because I'm just on the latest version. All right, well let's open up Excel and oh, I have important financial data in this sheet. This is an income statement of revenue, my YouTube revenue. Actually, that's just made up. I'm dreaming there. And uh, there I can see how much I make every single year. I really don't make that much, but hey, you can dream, right? And here you can see all my different expenses. For whatever reason, those expenses always seem to creep up. And uh, so here you can see my total expenses and then I have my income loss before taxes. This is probably not stuff that I just want to have easily available that anyone can see. So I should probably password protect it. So how do we do that? Uh, what I'm going to do is we click on the file menu and then by default I land in this section called info. The good news is we want to be in info because you'll see this option right next to the info button that says protect workbook. Let's click on uh, protect workbook and one of the options is encrypt with password. That's exactly what we want to do. So let's click on that. And I get this little dialog that lets me type in a password. And now a few things to remember, they have this caution text here and it's good that they include it because basically if you forget your password, you're never going to get back into this document uh, because there's no forget password hint or anything like that. In fact, what they recommend doing is write down the password, write down the file name and store that in a safe place. Don't just store that on your desk where anyone can see it. Uh, that actually happens a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in a super complicated password. I'm going to type in password. And I'm just kidding. Do not use that as a password. Um, it actually turns out when you look at the most popular passwords, they've done analysis on this, password is actually one of the most popular passwords. And if you are using that as your password, you should change it right away because that's a very poor password. That's probably the first password that most people guess when they try to break into an account. Um, so I had, they had me re-enter the password because if I typed it wrong, I would never be able to get into this sheet again. So I'm gonna click on OK. And now it says a password is required to open this notebook. So what I'm gonna do is that we're gonna close Excel and uh, I'm gonna, we'll go ahead and save the sheet and then I'm gonna open Excel again and we'll test it out. Uh, so here you'll see on my recent list, my password protect uh, Excel sheet is the first item. And here before I can open the Excel spreadsheet, it says that it's protected and I have to type in a password. So we're gonna type in my super complicated password that no one can possibly guess. And we're gonna click on okay. And so the password checks out and so here it opens my data and I can see all my important financial data. So pretty easy to set a password on your sheet. And so why would you do this? Well, let's say that you like storing your documents in the cloud. I personally have all my documents in OneDrive uh, because I don't trust my computer. Maybe my hard drive dies. But when I'm putting sensitive, uh, say like financial information or other sensitive information in the cloud, there's always that nagging worry that maybe my account will get hacked. And so how do I protect against that? Well, this is one additional layer of security where I could protect individual files that contain sensitive information using the password protection. Um, so kind of a nice thing uh, to apply to your sheet. It'll help you sleep a little easier at night uh, if you use something like this. Um, so anyway, if you were able to protect more of your data using this technique, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, you know what to do, just hit that subscribe button. And if there's anything else you wanna learn about, any other things that you're trying to figure out, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create in the future. And hey, that's all I have for you today. I'll see you next time. Bye.